And now to some more startling video. Look at these women in bikinis, apparently out for a casual swim with sharks. The kind we all remember from Jaws. It's all part of a bold experiment by National Geographic designed to prove that we may not have much to fear from sharks, even great white sharks. The perfect story for our intrepid Nightline co-anchor, Bill Weir. A swimmer spots a shark, just feet away. And back on the surface, her terror is visible and understandable. I get with these big sharks, the damage they can do. I've seen it and it's too much for me. Yet she and her friends choose to jump back into the water. To bait them with the sight of pale flesh, the smell of blood and urine, even the flash of jewelry. All part of a stunning experiment to prove that sharks are not mindless man-eaters after all. You want to see some big sharks? I'd love that. We've got Let's plenty go, of those out here. Let's go lose a toe or, or two. <laughs> Dr. Ryan Johnson is the marine biologist behind this idea, and by sight and name, he knows the great whites of Mossel Bay better than anyone. He's used robotic seals to prove that they use light from the shore to hunt at night. He's even had a shark accidentally jump into his boat. But he's also seen how these predators behave themselves less than a half mile from some of the most popular beaches in Africa. There hasn't been an attack here in 20 years, and among many locals, galeophobia has gradually faded. Aren't you at all worried that one nibble could set all this back <laughs> and reinstill all that fear? Yeah, that's something we, we live with all the time. A shark attack or shark bite is tragic for shark conservation. And so, Friday night, he will send his shark angels into the water on live television, betting their limbs and his reputation that the creature of our nightmares is simply misunderstood. Bill Weir, ABC News in Mossel Bay, South Africa. And there will be more reporting from Bill later on Nightline and Shark Attack Experiment Live will air this Friday evening on Nat Geo Wild.